My scouts report no signs of danger in the pass nearby. I will arrange patrols to ensure it stays that way. It's a bit cold in here, don't you think? We are in the mountains. I'm more concerned about everything scattering whenever there's a draft. Let us begin. What have you done now? I get it, Seeker. You're still sore after our spat. I'm not a child, Varric. Do not suggest I'm without reason. Uh, a peace offering. The next chapter of Swords and Shields. I hear you're a fan. This is your doing. I was hoping you'd be happy about it. Well, if you're not interested, you're not interested. Still needs editing anyhow. Wait! <laughs> you're probably wondering what happens to the night captain after the last chapter. <gasps> Nothing should happen to her. She was falsely accused. Well, it turns out the guardsman... Don't tell me! <clears throat> This is the part where you thank the Inquisitor. I don't normally give sneak peeks, after all. I... thank you. Varric's the one you should be thanking. I am but a humble servant to my loyal readers. I wonder if I have time to read the first part. But don't forget to tell all your friends, if you have any. Ah, <sighs> completely worth it. Yes? Do you have any advice for me? It's good that you recruited Enchanter Vivian. She is ambitious, but has always shown sense in her dealings with the Chantry. My advice would be to watch her, but heed her when she speaks. That one wastes no words. That's enough for now. Another time, then. Nice talking with you, boss. We don't need those chargers. We've soldiers enough without self-dating. Look at that. Uh, 
an inquisitor favor to ask just a little thing really a little march around for some of your people it's nothing for you right i won't agree to anything without details smart of you i wouldn't dream of wasting your super important time it's a red jenny thing i got a tip that some noble stiffs are arguing over vershell land swap they're getting little people beat up so I need you to go to your big table and send some people to walk through town. Just walk through. Just walk through. Easy, right? Was this a tip from one of your friends? Not a Jenny. Just normal angry people getting sick of being in the middle. I don't usually hear about things this far away. But having a friend like you is like getting really big ears. Bigger ears, I guess. Shut up. Who's asking for this? I'm asking, because I heard people complaining. See, when nobles fight, it's not them. It's their little people stuck in the middle. It's like a polite war, so no one pays attention. But if you march through, the people up top feel threatened too. Stuff like this is always happening. Good sovereigns to be made if you're one of the few who notice. What does the Inquisition get out of this? Nobles think everyone is out to get them. So when your helmets march through, both sides will think the other's your ally. Both get scared, both make deals. Worst case, you get a little bump among the people just because they see you acting. Can't promise anything, but something will happen. Just like always. All right, Sarah. I'll have someone look into it. It's fun, right? Being important without doing a thing. Well, not much of a thing. Not everything has to be torn skies and ancient assholes. Every little thing makes a difference somewhere. She would always like to say, why change the past when you can own this day? Today she will fight to keep her away. She's a rogue and a thief and she'll tempt you. If it was abandoned when we arrived, who named this place Skyhold? Solus says it changed hands so many times, the original builders can't be traced. I read the House of Armitage once built a fortress in the vicinity five ages ago, but the records are lost.
Elden has faced enough darkspawn for a lifetime. Ten years passed, and you can still see how the Blight haunts this country and its people. Waking sea. We crossed it to reach Haven. Already it seems so long ago. 